Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Nick White here, and I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, and uh, I do all the Lee code problems, and I have them all on my uh, YouTube channel, so just go check those out if you want to get them explained to you. Um, so this one's called Find Bottom Left Tree Value. So given a binary tree, find the leftmost value in the last row of a binary tree. Um, so yeah, we just want to find the last, the leftmost node in the last row. So in the last row, this would be uh, right here, and then leftmost would be one. Last row would actually be here, and the only node in it is seven, so it's going to be seven, obviously. Um, so to do this, we're going to use a queue, and all we're going to do is basically a traversal. And usually when you traverse a tree, it's going to be an in-order, post-order, or pre-order, which is going to be, um, you know, left, left nodes will always be traversed right when you do those traversals. Left nodes will always be traversed before the right nodes before you do those traversals. But since we're looking for the leftmost node, we're actually going to traverse the right side first and then the left side second so that we can grab the left at the very end. So we're going to have a queue of tree nodes here called queue. And we'll just have that be set to new link list here. And then we'll have, we'll do queue.offer root just like all the other traversals. Uh, and then while queue is not empty, just like a lot of other stuff, we'll set root to the current, no the last element of the queue. We'll just pull from the queue. Uh, and then we do our right traversal here. Pretty straightforward. We just do if root dot right is not equal to null, we'll add that right child to the queue, queue.offer root.right, um, and then our, we'll, our, we'll do our left traversal afterwards, and what this will do is by the end of this loop, we will have traversed all the right nodes, and the right nodes will have been in the queue, and we'll pop them off the queue. Um, and we'll add all our left nodes to the queue at the end. So when we add all of our left nodes to the queue at the end, the loop will end. Um, the loop will end with our left nodes uh, being pulled off, and all we have to do is return our final left node value at the end, which will be root.val. Because root is the we're using root. We're basically updating root right from the beginning to the current node every iteration of this loop. So we're using root as our current node the whole time. So we return root.val, which will be the left nose, bo leftmost bottom node by the end of this. We're at traversing the right, then we're traversing the left. We put all the right nodes in the queue, we put all the left nodes in the queue, and we pop them off each iteration. So at the very end, the last, last left node will be popped off the queue, the loop will break out, and we return the value of that leftmost node, bottom left node. So thank you guys for watching. Check out the other videos. Let me know if I did a good job explaining these. And I do all the problems, so just look at it, uh, them if you need help. So thanks for watching. See you guys later.